This is the best course for machine learning. Use this guide. In this Twitter thread, I'll share 50 resources. The only book you need to learn machine learning. Transformers are all you need. Machine learning. How to become a data scientist in three days. Sparkling water. Cold shower. It's never been easier to get started with machine learning. Just look at the number of courses, books, videos, and all this other stuff you have at your disposal. All these roadmaps and guides tell you where to start and what to study, but nobody tells you how to learn. That is, until now. I spent over 10,000 hours learning machine learning effectively. Because I started late in my ML journey, I studied how other experts learned these skills, read several guides, and watched how-to videos and attended course after course after course. Here's the secret. There is no universal recipe for everyone, but there are some patterns I found in the process that accelerated my learning and career, and I've condensed them into five levels. So here are the five levels of learning that you can start applying today to learn better, remember more, and launch your machine learning journey. What do you do when you learn a new sport? You don't jump straight in with the pros, but you focus on building the basic skills you need to play. That's what target practice is all about. List out the skills you want to develop, then practice those skills hands-on. For example, practice data cleaning on datasets. Play directly with libraries like scikit-learn. Interpret training curves and understand overfitting and underfitting. Fine-tune existing models and create apps. Instead of worrying about a mountain of material, work on the basic skills first. This focuses your learning and gives you hands-on practice. Projects are slightly bigger in scope than target practice but they are the best thing you can do both to improve your skills and your portfolio. With projects, you combine individual skills and understand how they work together. What's more important is that you put those skills to practice on a real problem. There's nothing more powerful than learning by doing. So where can you find projects? Three places. Kaggle is excellent for this. Actively working through a Kaggle contest will level you up significantly faster than most other options. If you currently work, try to find a way to use your target practice skills at your day job. This might be hard for some, but it's still worth knowing that this option exists. What's a problem you've always wanted to solve but never tried to? Build an app or solution around that and apply your target practice skills on it. Now, in any of these three options, if you find that you are missing some skills, go back and do some target practice on those. Remember, learning is a lifelong journey. Massive open online courses or MOOCs give you a good mix of theory and coding. The problem here is there are so many out there, so choose wisely. What you need to do is to find the ones that teach you the 20% that will give you 80% results. That depends on what kind of work you want to do in machine learning. Use MOOCs to bridge the gap between theory and code. When you look at the implementation of a theoretical concept, it becomes much easier to understand. The advantage of doing a MOOC is that right after a few lecture videos, you work on a short guided assignment. This helps reinforce the theory that you learn. MOOCs alone aren't enough, so spend time with books and blog articles to augment your learning. You can do this in many ways. Read up on the list of topics you've prepared from target practice. Understand how a technique you use often works at a deeper level. Randomly choose a concept you'd like to learn and dive deep. The key is that you understand why they work, when they fail, and the intuition behind it. This improves your concept mapping muscles a lot over time. Don't worry if you don't understand everything in the first go. Just keep at it and you'll see your learning compound. Finally, implement research papers. This is the ultimate test. There are several skills you can unlock by practicing this. For example, not all the math in a paper is relevant for implementing it. So just finding which equations to code up is a great skill to acquire. To practice this effectively, follow this three-step process. First, find and write out the relevant equations in code. After this, complete a toy implementation and test it out on a small data set. Then, finally, compare your work with a reference implementation. This could be the official repository of the paper or another one you found online. Once you can do this, you'll have a good balance of theory and practical knowledge. These aren't the only things you can learn, but I found that they are the most commonly needed ones. If you enjoyed this video, you might also enjoy this other one I've posted. Until next time, happy learning.